Ever wonder where your tax dollars vanish to? Sure, some might be paving that pothole-ridden road you love to hate, but a hefty chunk? It's likely sunning itself in some offshore account, sipping tiny umbrella drinks and laughing at us suckers who pay our fair share. We're talking about tax evasion people and it's costing us trillions. That's trillions with a T, enough to make even the wealthiest among us raise an eyebrow, or at least instruct their accountants to move some funds around. Now I know what you're thinking. Taxes? John, you promised comedy, not a lecture from my least favorite uncle. But trust me, this stuff is more thrilling than a Michael Bay film, with higher stakes than a game of high-stakes poker in a casino on the moon. We're talking about a global game of hide-and-seek, where the hiders are billionaires, the seekers are woefully understaffed tax agencies, and the prize is, well, your money. This isn't just some victimless financial crime, this is about governments struggling to fund essential services, about widening inequality gaps that could swallow entire nations, about a fundamental erosion of trust in, well, everything. So, buckle up buttercup, because we're diving headfirst into the murky, often infuriating, always fascinating world of tax evasion. We'll expose the tricks of the trade from shady shell companies to tropical tax havens with more palm trees than tax collectors. We'll meet the players, from shady billionaires to complicit banks, and everyone in between. And most importantly, we'll arm you, the concerned citizen, with the knowledge you need to fight back against this global epidemic of financial shenanigans. Because let's be honest, someone's gotta do it, and it might as well be us. Before we unleash the hounds on these tax-dodging scoundrels, let's get our terminology straight. Because believe it or not, there's a difference between tax evasion and its slightly less scandalous cousin, tax avoidance. Think of it like this. Tax avoidance is like sneaking an extra cookie from the jar when your mom isn't looking. It might be a little naughty, but hey, you're not breaking any laws, right? Tax evasion, on the other hand, is like stealing the entire cookie jar, baking a fake one filled with raisins, who even likes raisins, and replacing the original with your imposter jar while your mom's none the wiser. It's deliberate, it's deceptive, and it's most definitely illegal. We're talking about hiding income, inflating expenses, and generally doing everything in your power to avoid paying your fair share, all while pretending to be a law-abiding citizen. And trust me, the methods these tax evaders use are about as subtle as a glitter bomb in a library. We're talking offshore accounts shrouded in secrecy, shell companies with names more creative than a writer's room full of caffeine-fueled monkeys, and enough loopholes to make a Swiss cheese blush. It's enough to make you wonder if there are any honest taxpayers left in the world. But fear not, my taxpaying comrades, because we're about to shine a light on these shady practices, exposing them for the financial felonies they truly are. Get ready to explore the murky depths of tax havens, where the only thing shadier than the palm trees is the financial activity happening beneath them. Let's talk shell companies, shall we? These elusive entities are often shrouded in mystery and intrigue, but today we're going to peel back the layers and see what they're really all about. No, not the kind you find on the beach, although those are significantly less morally questionable. The shell companies we're discussing are far more complex and, dare I say, insidious. These entities, while legal, often operate in a morally gray area, raising questions about ethics and legality. I'm talking about those legal entities that exist solely on paper, like a ghost haunting the financial district. They have no physical presence, no employees, and no real business operations. They have fancy names, impressive sounding addresses, usually a P.O. box in some tropical paradise, and absolutely no real business operations to speak of. These companies are often registered in offshore jurisdictions known for their lenient tax laws and secrecy. Their sole purpose, to hide assets and income from pesky tax authorities like a magician making your tax dollars disappear with a flick of their offshore wand. These companies are often used to launder money, evade taxes, and hide ownership of assets. Imagine a company called, say, Sunshine Holdings LLC, registered in the Cayman Islands. Sounds legit, right? Now imagine this company owns a private jet, a yacht the size of a small island, and a priceless collection of Fabergé eggs, all while generating zero actual revenue. Starting to see the problem? These shell companies are the Swiss army knives of tax evasion, allowing wealthy individuals and corporations to create a labyrinthine web of ownership that would make even the most seasoned accountant throw up their hands in defeat. And the worst part? It's all perfectly legal, or at least it exists in a legal gray area that would make a chameleon proud. These companies exploit loopholes in the law with the precision of a brain surgeon operating on a tax code. It's enough to make you want to pack your bags and start your own coconut-based tax shelter on a remote island. But before you book that one-way ticket, let's delve deeper into the world of tax evasion, exploring the real-world consequences of these financial shenanigans. Because spoiler alert, it's not just about governments missing out on some extra revenue, this is about fairness, accountability, and the very fabric of our society. 
When wealthy individuals and corporations use shell companies to evade taxes, they are essentially shifting the tax burden onto the rest of us. This means less money for public services like education, healthcare, and infrastructure. It also means that honest taxpayers are left to pick up the slack, paying more than their fair share to make up for the shortfall. Shell companies also contribute to economic inequality by allowing the wealthy to accumulate and hide vast amounts of wealth, while the rest of us struggle to make ends meet. This creates a two-tiered system, where the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Furthermore, the secrecy surrounding shell companies makes it difficult to hold individuals and corporations accountable for their actions. This lack of transparency can lead to corruption, fraud, and other illegal activities. So, what can be done to address this issue? One solution is to increase transparency and accountability by requiring companies to disclose their beneficial owners. This would make it more difficult for individuals and corporations to hide their assets and evade taxes. Another solution is to close the loopholes that allow shell companies to operate in the first place. This could involve tightening regulations and increasing enforcement to ensure that companies are paying their fair share of taxes. It's also important to promote international cooperation to tackle this issue, as shell companies often operate across multiple jurisdictions. By working together, countries can share information and coordinate their efforts to crack down on tax evasion and other financial crimes. In the end, addressing the issue of shell companies is about more than just closing loopholes and increasing transparency. It's about creating a fairer and more just society where everyone pays their fair share and contributes to the common good. So, the next time you hear about a shell company, remember that it's not just a harmless legal entity. It's a tool that can be used to evade taxes, hide assets, and undermine the very fabric of our society. And while it might be tempting to start your own coconut-based tax shelter on a remote island, it's important to remember the real-world consequences of these financial shenanigans. By understanding the true nature of shell companies and the impact they have on our society, we can work together to create a fairer and more just world for everyone. So, let's continue to shine a light on these ghostly entities and hold those who use them accountable for their actions. Because at the end of the day, it's not just about the money, it's about fairness, accountability, and the very fabric of our society. And that's something worth fighting for. Section 4. Pandora's Papers and the Panama Papers Just the tip of the iceberg? Remember those leaked documents? The ones with names like Panama Papers and Pandora Papers? No, they weren't the latest superhero blockbuster sequels, although they did feature a cast of characters with more wealth and secrecy than a Bond villain's lair. These leaks gave us a glimpse into the secretive world of offshore finance, exposing a network of politicians, celebrities and billionaires using shell companies and hidden accounts to shield their wealth from the taxman. Suddenly, everyone from heads of state to sports stars were scrambling for cover, trying to explain why they had millions stashed away in accounts with names like Fluffy Kitten Holdings, okay, maybe not that creative. It was like a worldwide game of financial whack-a-mole with each revelation more shocking than the last. But here's the kicker, these leaks, as massive as they were, were likely just the tip of the iceberg. For every dodgy dealing exposed, countless others remain hidden, tucked away in tax havens with names more befitting a luxury resort than a financial black hole. It's enough to make you wonder, who isn't hiding money offshore? And more importantly, how much are we really losing out on? It's a question that keeps tax authorities and economists up at night, and for good reason. Because the scale of tax evasion is staggering with trillions of dollars disappearing into a shadowy financial underworld. Section 5 From Swiss Bank Accounts to Caribbean Tax Havens A World Tour of Tax Dodging Fasten your seatbelts folks, because we're about to embark on a whirlwind tour of the world's most notorious tax havens. We'll be jet-setting from the snow-capped peaks of Switzerland to the sun-drenched beaches of the Caribbean, all while uncovering the secrets of the tax-dodging elite. First stop, Switzerland. Long considered the granddaddy of tax havens, Switzerland's reputation for secrecy is as legendary as its chocolate. With its ironclad bank secrecy laws and discreet financial institutions, it's no wonder Switzerland has been a favorite destination for those looking to shield their wealth from prying eyes. Next up, we're island hopping to the Caribbean where palm trees sway and taxes seemingly don't exist. From the Bahamas to the Cayman Islands, these tropical paradises offer a tempting mix of sunshine, secrecy, and minimal financial regulations. It's enough to make you want to ditch your day job and open a beach bar, serving up tax-free daiquiris to shady financiers. But our tour doesn't end there. We'll be making stops in exotic locales like Luxembourg, the British Virgin Islands, and even Delaware. Because it turns out you don't need a passport to find a tax haven, they're closer than you think, often hiding in plain sight within the borders of even the most developed nations. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride as we expose the global network of tax havens 
Revealing the tricks of the trade and the players who benefit from this shadowy financial system, 